Hi everybody and welcome to the morning after the night before super- I can't say that, it's trademarked. Welcome to the morning after the night before big game breakdown. That's right. Where we're gonna sit here, we're gonna talk a little bit about the game, obviously. We're gonna talk a little bit about the advertising, the hits, the misses, the good, the bad. And you would think that a couple guys that work together are going to agree on a lot. You're gonna see that we probably don't. I love guacamole and <laughs> that was terrible. Tony Romo, you are not Paul Spackler. And I thought one of the most effective ads, and I know we disagree on this, it- Tell me why it was brilliant. If you're gonna do the mad libs of how to do a celebrity right, exactly. Super Bowl yeah, spot, yeah, yeah. that's yeah. what that was. It was like, it gets a chuckle and you're like, ah, it's funny, I like that guy. Yeah. But they pulled it off like it was an outtake from Breaking Bad. Well, that's because it was an outtake from Breaking Bad. Tell me more. <laughs> Thank you, Farmer's Dog, for making me cry yeah. in the middle of Super yeah. Bowl like I needed that. It falls into the category of just because you can do something doesn't mean you should. Those spots that just, uh, I mean, just now as I'm saying it, like the hairs in the back of my neck, which I don't have. Uh, <laughs> but exactly. I mean, I don't have Tubi, but uh, it made me actually say Tubi today. So yeah. there you go. So did three times. Yep. Tubi. Four. <laughs>